Hey, Trip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com. Welcome back to the Talking to Girls 101 series where we're breaking down conversation and all the little subsections of it and diving deep into it so you can learn how to build attraction and have an awesome, interesting, fun conversation when you're talking to a girl. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about questions. Now, I'm not sure at this point in making this video what order I'm putting all of these videos in, but I know that uh, before this video, I have already talked about the idea of talking forever and the idea of questions versus statements when you're in a conversation. Well, I wanna dive a little bit deeper into questions, questions that I know get responses from a girl when you're talking to her because I just wanted to go deeper into this topic and I think it's really gonna help you out. So let's go into some questions and I'm gonna give you examples of questions that you can actually ask a girl when you are talking to her for the very first time. Also, here's some good news. There's only so much time I have to make these videos and I've already made a ton of videos on questions. So I'm gonna have a, uh, a bunch of videos, links to them in the description below if you are really interested in asking really cool questions because I've done at least five or six videos on this already. So let me give you a little bit of the of my favorites and best stuff. Let's get into it. One of my favorite questions to ask a girl or ask anyone when you're talking to her is you say, what's that like? So this is a question that you ask coming off of what someone is already saying, right? So for example, you're talking to a girl and uh, she's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a nurse over at, you know, so-and-so hospital. And you're like, oh, you're a nurse. What's that like? And here's the best part. No one's ever gonna be like, that's a weird question. Like, what's that like? like? What do you mean, what's that like, right? That is going to get them interested because they now get to go deep and tell you what something is like. And uh, it's probably something that they are happy about, right? The fact that it's their job or what they're doing or a vacation they went on or a, a meal that they had that they really like. You're just asking, what's that like? Of course, yes, I know you could, the person could hate their job and you could be, what's that like? And then that gets them into kind of a, a negative mindset. But at least for now, that's continuing conversation. That's fine. And then you can go back into some more positive type of conversation. But the goal here with this, by saying, what's that like, is to get them to explain something to you. Now, in uh, previous videos, I have talked about the concept of making sure that you're talking at least equal to her or a little bit more. So saying this might get her talking for a while. So make sure that if you say, what's that like? And she's telling you something or telling a story or explaining what something is like or why she likes it or doesn't like it, that you eventually uh, inject yourself into the conversation so you can start getting some material in there too and making statements and asking even more questions and getting uh, your a voice into the conversation so that she gets to know you. So just be very careful of that because this conversation, this question is that powerful where they can just be talking forever. So make sure you inject yourself into the convo. Here's another question. I really like this one because everyone has an answer to it. Now, everyone does. No one, no one says, oh, I have no idea. Everyone has an answer. They don't have to think about it, but here it is. You say, if you could eat dinner with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Okay. Now let me give you some context. I know I'm just rattling off some questions and you're like, Trip, when do I when do I say this? Like, when am I saying this? You can say this anytime, right? Obviously, if you're in the middle of like a deep conversation and you just say that question when you guys are already talking about something else, that's a little weird. So you might say it when conversation is lulling a little bit, kind of dying down, or a topic has been talked about a lot and you want to change topics a little bit, just ask that. Say, you know what I was thinking about this other day? You can say, hey, I, I learned this somewhere. I watched a YouTube video where someone asked this question and I thought it was really cool. No, let me ask you, if you could eat dinner with someone, anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? And so why this is a good question is because they're gonna answer and then you can talk about that. Plus they're gonna ask you and if they don't ask you, you can just tell them and say, you know who I would eat dinner with? I would eat dinner with so-and-so, right? I would eat dinner with Trip from tripadvice.com. And so this is really good material. I'm trying to give you questions that will make a conversation flourish and go on for a long time. Okay, let me give you some more. I wrote them down on my phone here. The next one is, what would be your one superpower? So if you're like, hey, if you could have any one superpower, what would it be, all right? Now here's the thing. You don't wanna ask a bunch of these types of opinion questions because then it seems like a weird interview. So just use this every once in a while. Use these every once in a while, but that's a really good one. If you had one superpower, what would it be? And then of course you can talk more about that. Uh, here's another one. What would be the absolute best day for you? I love this question. Here's why, and here's why this is so powerful. Uh, because this is getting her into a positive, happy mindset. If you are giving her and flooding her with happy emotions, 
and she's having those emotions around you, then she's gonna feel happier around you and that can actually add to building attraction with her. So you ask her that question and she talks about it, she talks about her day, what her perfect day would be like, gets her all happy, gets her all excited, and that gets her really excited to be talking about it with you. Again, common problem here is if you let her talk to it for talk about it for so long and you're outside of the conversation, she won't be able to get to know you. So make sure that you have an answer as well. But try that out and see if it works for you. I want to know if you have any other good questions. Let's share this. This is a community. We're all here together. We're all working on this together. What questions do you like? I know we're going to get a bunch of jokers saying some dumb questions, but let's be serious here. What are some questions that you like to ask that have worked very well? Write them down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out in the description all the other questions that you could ask for my other various videos. And don't forget to check out my Hooked program. If you want to take this whole concept deeper into building attraction with the woman, building tension with her so she gets hooked on you, check out getherhooked.com. I'll put that in the description below. I'll see you on the next video.